What's up, everybody? It is Andy from Nerds on the Run, bringing you some thoughts and impressions for kind of E3 pre-release, uh, coming up to the, the road to E3 starting in just a few days. As people have been paying attention, Nintendo's already out of the gate with some information. Sony is not a part of the picture, and uh, Xbox only has a little bit of intrigue for me. No hate, just something I don't follow. Uh, so let's start with Nintendo. They did have the, their Pokemon Direct this morning. I'm not a huge, huge person for that franchise, so anybody that does know more than me, please feel free to leave any corrections or extra items of intrigue in the comments below, like anyone's going to watch this, and we can hopefully talk about it a little bit. I know Game Freak is making their first go at a full console run this game, so I, I have tried to keep that in the back of my mind as far as the look of the game a little bit. It does kind of have... It doesn't look like a full console game. It does kind of have a sort of halfway between, um, you know, the 3DS look of their last gen and the new uh, Sword and Shield Switch gen uh, Pokemon. I think it was a Gen 8, Gen 9. Um, again, I've been out of the game since Gen 1, so I apologize for uh, any flubs there. But um, it does kind of have like a Harvest Moon sort of look to it in its new graphical style. It's not bad. It's just... You know, it still looks somehow slightly sprite-based or something. I was really hoping we would get something to akin to Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey. Or not necessarily in those art styles, but graphically speaking. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. I, it, it, I was kind of looking for an excuse to get back into it. I'm not sure with this one. Um, but uh, keep, keep your eyes peeled on it. Um, Google Stadia has got something coming out tomorrow. They're trying to throw their hat into the ring, and so I'll give you all a reaction to that press conference once it occurs. But hopefully it's something that is, uh, you know, at best interesting. I bet it's going to flub kind of like the Ouya and, uh, you know, the Steam Box and some of the ones that have tried. I'm not anticipating much from it, so my, my expectations are pretty low. Um, Besides uh, what Nintendo's already done with their Pokemon Direct this morning, um, I believe they've announced that's coming out November 15th. I am really hopeful that they ramp up some of their other games that have been in gestation and announced in the form of Luigi's Mansion uh, 3. I really did put, like the original. Uh, it was just such a novel and interesting thing for the Mario universe. And Dark Moon, I know there was some mixed reception about it because it was designed as a handheld game, so it was sort of... Um, fed to you piecemeal rather than kind of a full world but it's a really 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 fun game and the mechanics are solid so if they had something that's kind of a full console experience but with the sort of intrigue and variety of dark moon for this third uh entrance to the franchise that would be really stellar and if it has a sharp look to it like mario odyssey even if again a, a similar graphical style um but with its own flair i want you know the luigi's mansion has that slight kind of fun house look to it uh, i hope it maintains that but We'll see. Um, I won't spend too much time on this because I know it's a bit more of a niche, but I love me some Animal Crossing. So I really, really hope that that game uh, is on full display. At least some gameplay. Um, I, I'm asking for a lot here given Nintendo's track record. Um, again, no hate. It's just something that I, I you know, they're not known for uh, putting their best foot forward with this kind of thing. So I'm hoping that we get to see some Animal Pro Pro Crossing gameplay. Um, and I hope it's a little, just the small iterations that we're used to. I really hope it's actually something that they are able to um, display like a full, you know, job-based mechanic or something like that, where, you know, similar to how they had the mayor role in the last game, maybe you could become one of the city guards, maybe you could become, uh, you know, a, the ferry driver or a, the taxi driver, or maybe you can go outside of the town a little bit on some, you know, adventures uh, you know, you know, maybe you could maybe be the shop owner, uh, no hate against Tom Nook, just <laughs> maybe, maybe something like that, maybe a job where you could sort of change the routine of your day to day because of what role you occupy with all the other usual stuff in there, the, the shopping and the home design and the furniture amassing and, and Tetris style arrangement of, of your home, you know, packing it to the gills. Anyway, so enough on Animal Crossing, but I really hope that Nintendo does bring something like that. I am really out of the loop with Xbox. The only thing I can even think of that would be on my radar potentially at their conference would be Avengers. But uh, Square Enix, who, who's developing that, is has their own conference at Sony's time slot, so that could be there too. So, you know, I'm not really holding my breath for anything too, too special as far as whether, you know... Um, 
uh, if the Avengers is part of the game universe that Spider-Man sort of set up in the Sony game, that would be cool, but I, I don't know if that's likely. Um, and if, if the game, whether it shows at Xbox's conference or whether it shows at Square Enix's, hopefully it's finally in a playable and ready form. There was something that came out, gosh, years and years ago. Uh, if somebody has a date, again, throw it in the comments. But um, it was like a first-person kind of, uh, you know, character-switching element, kind of kind of in akin to Grand Theft Auto V, I think. Or at least that's the impression we got. Um, you know, you could switch main characters and stuff. We'll see. I'm really just going to kind of... I have, don't have many expectations. I just hope they sort of capitalize on the goodwill of, of what Marvel's been doing in the cinematic realm lately. So... Um, and then as far as the Square Enix conference goes, I'm probably going to tune into it just because it's at the convenient, you know, headliner spot that Sony was in before, but I, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake really doesn't hold a lot of interest to me either, only insofar as, you know, I have respect for what the game is, but the fact that it's episodic and it's been very mishandled being, being kind of, you know, restarted in development from... Uh, I don't know the name of the studio that was that was handling it for a while, but they didn't have the pedigree to work on a game like that. So, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake at the Square Enix conference. That's probably going to be their headliner, I'm guessing. Um, and then lastly, uh, we have Bethesda. Bethesda's going to be... I really, really hope... I'm such a huge Bethesda fan. I really hope they put their best foot, foot forward with Starfield and show a lot about that and kind of get int uh, intrigue going with that um, because, you know, they did announce it quite early, which is not something that I think was necessarily a good idea. The, the Fallout 4 cycle that they did for their announcement really was a positive thing and I think was a good amount of time. I, you know, they dropped it at E3 and it, and it came out in uh, November, I believe. So... I would really like to see something similar to that with Starfield. If they're going to talk about it again, I hope it's because it's coming out soon. If it's not coming out soon, probably should hold their cards on that. And Fallout 76 is, you know, has a lot of mixed reactions. I myself am one of the dopes that bought it at launch. It just really wasn't working, and I truthfully didn't have a lot of time to mess with it. So I've heard that it's been cleaned up a lot. I see that a lot of the content they're pushing post-release. I probably will spend some more time with it this summer just to get into it again. Uh, I've got a crew of guys that's likely to be able to play it with me, so at least the playing it together part will be interesting. Um, we shall see. I, I'm really not... Uh, again, the bar's pretty low on that one for me, so we'll just see how it turns out. Um, just a quick honorable mention, PS4, as we all know, Sony is not at E3 this year. They have been kind of doing some state of play uh, akin to Nintendo Direct to be a part of the conversation. But I hope they do at least give us uh, something in the coming months. Uh, I know they're ramping up, holding their cards for PSX later this year. I'm such a huge Last of Us fan, so if anything about that even comes up this year, news-wise, I'm sure the game's not launching this year, but if I'm proven wrong, that would be delightful. So... Uh, let me know if uh, there's any games you all are interested in talking about that I didn't discuss. Certainly, by no means were, was my coverage and thoughts here exhaustive of, of everything that will be at the conference. But I just wanted to kind of uh, headline or, or tick, off, tick the boxes on some of the ones that have been shown, have been announced, have been sort of gestating, and are likely to come to the surface. Um, I guess if I had to have a big uh, kind of stretch wish something something a kind of a bit of a pipe dream would be something from nintendo um in the realm of the legend of zelda series i know they're going to talk about the Link's awakening remake but i would really like to maybe at least see whispering sometime this year at a direct about the um a possible breath of the wilds follow-up you know kind of like an asset reuse that they did in the style of majora's mask uh, after they made Ocarina of Time uh, way back when. So we'll see. I know that's that's certainly something that's, that's again, just kind of a, a fluff dream, but it would be nice. Um, so let me know what you all think, and I appreciate you all watching. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, and please participate in some discussion with us so we can uh, foster some positive discussion about the things we all love about video games. Take care.